welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys video, but today it's a little different. Instead of heading into the DC Universe, we're going to take a side detour into the Marvel Universe to check out their brand new Marvel Famous Covers, for lack of a better term, because there's really not one, Venom. And this is, of course, based on the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 316 cover, that was done by Todd McFarlane, but it really does stand out. That gorgeous artwork is all over the box, and it really does make a presence on the store shelves if it's facing the right way. <laughs> Other than that, you're like, what is that? But mine came from Target. These are starting to hit store shelves. Pre-orders launch tomorrow, Thursday. Here's the barcode if you're looking, and I will have links when they are available down below. So we're just gonna jump right into it. There isn't too much to say on this. I am a huge Venom fan. I love the Marvel Universe, the comics side of things anyways. But to have this, even though I told myself, hey, we're not gonna get into these, don't do it. But I had to have the Venom one. In fact, it is very cool. I'll be honest with you. And a lot of people have said with the cardboard background, that is clearly the bell tower. It's AI art. It might be a mixture of the two. I really don't know for sure. All I know is that it looks pretty cool in the background of this Venom statue. And a statue it is. Now, there is no articulation. It doesn't move, but it is well painted. I love the fact that you have a little bit of blue mixed in with the black. That spider symbol is one of the best spider symbols that we have seen in a very long time. And it wraps around and it goes to the front and yes, it says Venom and he is attached to a base. You can probably pry him off if you'd like, but it's seemingly glued on there and I don't feel like breaking it off, but you let me know how that goes for you. Venom, very clear in that classic logo. Again, part of the bell, which is interesting. You've got the rope, a little bit of debris, not much paint to the base. It's very plasticky. Venom is, of course, going to be the heaviest element to this, but there's not a huge amount of heft. You can see that the silhouette of Venom, that is the ideal Venom for me, not the claw monster feet, just a guy in an alien costume suit. Although, I do wish that he had the dots. I know it goes back and forth, but because I'm an old Toy Biz fan, I enjoy the dots on the white patches for where the webbing comes out. When you look at the profile of this Venom figure, I do wish that the head was positioned a little bit more upwards because you really have to get low in order to really admire and see everything that's going on. The teeth, the mouth, that is very much Venom. That is a very welcomed Venom, if I do say so in my Venomous collection. But if I'm being honest, for the $30 price point, this will most likely be the only one I will be getting. While it's Venom and it's cool and I get it, it's also very lackluster, if I'm being honest. They're just kinda, yeah, it's cool. The backdrop leaves a lot to be desired. It's just a cardboard flap of which, yeah, if it gets busted, it gets busted. Does it look good with this Venom? It's, I mean, yes and no, it's fine. Although I'll tell you, what I did is cut out that cool artwork from the box, and then you can place it within the barrier of the cardboard background, and I think that that honestly looks so much better. You kind of have to prop up the backside of the base into the cardboard, and then you can get it standing pretty well. So in that sense, yeah, I love it. It's very cool, but again, this will be the only one. And see, once again, what I mean right here is that the way it is, and it's all about your distance and how you're looking at the figure, but Venom should have been looking up just a little bit more so that you don't have to get so low in order to see Venom's face. If it was just angled up a bit more, I think that would have been cool. But I will say one cool thing that I was really hoping would work is that if you take a Marvel Legends Spider-Man and if you think about this Venom and you stood him up straight, he would be as tall as a Marvel Legends Venom as you would want. And yes, you can beautifully recreate the comic book cover. So for that alone, that is pretty cool. 
There's not a lot to it. It's just, yeah, there it is. But that's a really cool Venom. I do wish that they pushed the blue a little bit heavier. I think that would have been awesome as well. But at least there's a little bit of an element of blue to it. The cardboard background being what it is, not my favorite. But again, like I said, I'm a one and done on these. I did want this Venom. I've seen lots of great Marvel statues from McFarlane so far. None of which tickle my fancy overall. It's just... Okay, and for a one centerpiece of a Venom that will go in my Venom collection, sure, why not? But as always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Famous Covers. I'll leave you with that. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all soon. Adios.